<laughs> um, I have to know, are you a scream queen at heart? I, I think I might be. I, I, did, I wasn't sure before this movie, but after doing Scream 4, I think I can say I am, I am a scream queen at heart. Okay, because you were, what, about five when the first one came out? So did you, you know, watch them after you knew you got the role? How did it all, you know, because I, I don't know about you, but they just, they, I mean, they really do scare me to death, so. Um, I think they're just, you know, one of those uh, classic horror movies that when you're, uh, you know, old enough to watch them, you're at a sleepover and you, you pop them in and you and your girlfriends are screaming and running around and it's just, that's, I, that's how, how I remember seeing them and I've yet to see any scream without closing my eyes for at least a moment in all of them. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and you know like that iconic ghost face. I mean, you, do, you can't go anywhere and see it and not have it kind of freak you out a little bit. No, definitely. I mean, I, when we were shooting, you know who's like actually under there and you're still terrified you know it's still one of those things where you're like and I'm a little freaked out <laughs> <laughs> now you get to be in this film uh, which is really nice with a bunch of you know young actors that you know are your age but you also get to be with the actors who originated the roles you know Courtney and David Arquette and yeah. then of course Nev Campbell our great Canadian gal mm -hmm. um well of time obviously with her too because you're her cousin in the film so what was it like and were you welcomed very you know on the set when you when you came on yeah I mean everyone always asks like how did the younger cast mix with the older cast and we all look at each other like we never really thought of it because they Nev Courtney and David were just so much fun I mean Nev is one of the most genuinely nice people I've ever met in my life and uh, Courtney and David would always have all of us over and David would cook all this food for us and it, it was really uh, fun but it was nice to have like the younger cast to bond with and then kind of approach the older cast all of us together because uh, it, it made you feel more secure definitely. Absolutely and then of course you know you get Wes Craven who I mean if he's going to come back on board there's no question why you wouldn't be in the film. You know what, what surprised you about working with Wes Craven? Um, just how how amazing and uh, gentle and sweet he is. I, I I didn't really know what to expect when I met him, and he's just so, you know, full of energy and ideas, and wants you to be great. And that's just really nice from a director to have someone that really like believes in you, um, you know, so much for a certain role. And uh, that that was really awesome for me. Yeah, and I, I'm sure he loved saying, you know, more blood, more blood. He, he, was just, I, he had the biggest smile when there would be blood on set. I said to him, I was like, you literally light up the second the blood comes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it's all about, Emma. I mean, come on. Now, I'm just wondering, did you guys kind of, kind of, you know, play pranks on each other on the set and try to scare each other? You know, I wish I had done I had done that to people more. I didn't even think of it because I was so on my toes thinking other people were gonna do it. And yeah, I, Wes got everyone really good. He uh, he would put someone dressed as Ghostface in a scene that they were not supposed to be. <laughs> <coughs> and there was um, one scene in particular where I'm supposed to open a door and no one's supposed to be there. And of course, the Ghostface was there, and I just I freaked out. It was one of those things where. You, we, you know, you're expecting it so much that you're not expecting it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, I know you are a great um, lover of reading books. You read a lot, a lot of books. And I'm wondering if there's something that you've read recently or, you know, or, or just in the past that you could see yourself wanting to be in that film, a make of it, or even produce it or get uh, involved with it. That's so hard just because I feel like every every book I read, they, they're they making. Um, I Something that I'm excited for is I'm excited to, I read the book series, you know, uh, The Something Borrowed, and I guess uh -huh. Kate Hudson's doing the movie, and I saw yes. the trailer and I'm so excited to see that. And uh, I love Joan Didion, so I'd love to see any of her stuff um, adapted to the big screen. Have you read The Help? I haven't read The Help, but I hear it's amazing, and I, I, the movie's supposed to be amazing, so I'll, yeah, I'll have to try yeah, to read get that. Get on the book. The book's awesome, and then the movie comes out in the summer, so then that's your uh -huh, I'll definitely now, do okay? that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on this, and, uh, I, you know, we hope, we hope to, are we going to see you in some more scary films, or what do you, what's your next turn? Well, you got to see if I survive Scream 4, so <laughs> we'll see. Good point, good point. Well, I look forward to seeing you in Homework. I know that uh, was debuted at Sundance with Freddie Highmore. How'd you like working with him? Ah, oh, love. I mean, he's just uh, so, so much fun. He's the sweetest boy, and then he also has this really amazing sense of humor. So we had such a good time getting to work together, and it's a really sweet love story that I'm really proud of. So Excellent. Well, we hope to see you back in Toronto soon. I know you... I'd you love to. Thank you so much. You're always welcome here, and good luck with this. It's always Thank great you. to talk to you, Emma. Bye. Have a great day. You too. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.